Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, I have some sad news. You got some sad you. news. <laughs> what do you mean some sad news for me? OJ Simpson died, dude. Oh, yeah. You know what? I just heard about this. It just happened. Well, a week ago or whatever. By the time oh, this comes out. Ago? Oh, yeah. I guess yeah, it was last week. But uh, yeah, so I just heard about that the other day. And yeah, yeah. He did. He passed away. Question for you: Did he do it? Did he kill his ex-wife? I, I don't. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. I will have to say is that uh, it's very interesting that you brought that up because um, I remember watching it when I was in school. Oh yeah, yeah. The verdict. Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember that it being that big of a trial. But I will have to say is that I don't know anything about it because I I would say is that when it happened, I was too young to even know what was going on. Or I should say is that it happened too long ago for me to even recollect. Yeah, I mean, so I, I would say way. it looks like he did, but I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Right. But uh, so, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's very uh. How you feel about what OJ being dead? No, about him if he did it or not. Oh, like I mean, it's moot. He got. You, you, th you he, think he did it? He was found innocent. You think he did it? I don't really. Know. You think he did it? Why? Why? Because I'm white. You, you you're trying to. You trying to. <laughs> trying to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What? You got awful defensive there, yeah, I mean, buddy. You're trying to shove it down my throat. You How guilty think, I think he is. I think you think he did. You're always trying it. to put racism in my mouth. I never <laughs> even said a word. You're like, yeah, you think he, you think you he did think, it, white devil, didn't you? I whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you the one turned it there. I just think you think he did it. Uh, I think that deep down you. How mad at her was he? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know we anything don't know. about the story. Why? Why did he run in a Bronco? Why'd he run? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. He so, was scared, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Regardless, the man was found innocent, whether you think he did it or not, right? Yep, that part. Then he definitely was caught robbing a hotel room, which I think was 100% a setup. He was trying to get his own stolen merchandise back, and I think they set him up to, like, he broke into a hotel room to get his own stuff back, and they caught him, and he yep. went to jail for that. I think that was 100% a setup. To get him to go to jail. Yeah, I do, too, as well, as well. Um, but he ended up dying of cancer, which sucks for anybody. Cancer sucks. Absolutely. Cut cancer, right? Um, but what I what was interesting is he he died, and then I saw people <laughs> on... Was interesting? Or... Well, no, this, this is... I mean, I, I was very shocked. I didn't even know he was sick. Yeah, okay. But people online were, like, very much, like, celebrating that he was dead. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like... I could see I, I see when people are like, oh, Charles Manson died or like somebody who was like found guilty of their crimes. But like it's someone who literally was found innocent. Whether you believe it or not, he went through the entire process. He was found innocent. And people are still like, hope you die, OJ. Like, Jesus, man, that's pretty yeah. like. Yeah, I thought everybody's been bringing up the whole uh, Caitlyn Jenner, bringing up the whole like. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it was Caitlyn Jenner was one, like. It's like, wait, didn't you kill somebody, Caitlyn? Yeah. Did she? I mean, well, there's a I whole mean. there's a whole thing that he was involved with that family. Mm -hmm. That was part of the thing from back then. Mm -hmm. Like he was involved with somebody. There was something about the Kardashians back then. I don't remember what. Or I think their lawyer was the same lawyer. Or maybe he was a Kardashian or something. I don't uh -huh, know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So there was some there was some stuff. But like, I get if someone is found to be a nasty person and they die and people are kind of like good riddance. But like. He was found innocent. Like you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta respect the system. You sometimes. gotta respect the system. Like oh. how many people have got away with shit, Ooh. and people are trying to like say like, oh yeah, you did it. Like whatever. F you. It's like there's a system in place for a reason. Oh, okay, all right. all right. Yeah, he he is a he is a robber. The system gets it wrong though. We all have right. to realize I, that. And I'm not saying that there there's a potential they were wrong. He he is a criminal. <laughs> they found him guilty of robbing someone, so he is a criminal. He is a robber, but like, but but he's, like yeah. it, if somebody robs a convenience store, be like, good, glad he's dead. I re I respect that you are adhering to the humanity of this, and you're just like another person died. Like you don't need to necessarily mourn for his loss, right? But you don't but want to rub it into somebody's face. Yeah, 
Yeah. I, the man had kids. Like, you know, he's somebody's dad. Yeah, like, like people cared for him. He had people that he helped. People found, like, you know, they, they hold him in heart. I understand that. I do. I don't have any schadenfreude towards him passing away. I, I tend to not have any good feelings or, like, that whole, like, good, I'm glad they finally get what they deserve moment. I don't really get that. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a revenge, spiteful sort of person. No, like. No. I am, I am a karma's gonna get you sort of person, but everybody dies. Man had cancer. That part. It ain't like he got shot in the street by an enemy. That he part. He got cancer and died. Like everyone else who gets cancer and dies. He's just the same as anybody else. You know, it ain't like. <laughs> Jonas, how would you feel if you were to pass away and people like were dancing in the streets that you finally passed away? I'd be like, what the hell did I do? Would you or would you be dead? I'd be dead, so I wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt OJ cares because he's he's not alive. So while I say it's in bad taste, I'm also going to say is that I give people out there carte blanche to react well, to whatever let, way let they me, want. Let me ask you this: it's fine. A random question. I agree. It speaks people, on you more than it speaks. People on People have him. a right to do whatever they want. Yep. You're you're say you were dating a girl, right? Mm? And y'all say you were a social media guy. No, you're not. But like, say y'all were you were all on you were felled each other on Facebook, and like <laughs> you you get on Facebook on your lunch break. And you see your your girlfriend post, good, I'm glad he died. Glad this man's dead now. Who, me? You see your girlfriend has posted that on Facebook. Oh, that that OJ passed yeah, away? Yeah, like, OJ oh, guys, glad. you see her out here just, like, on Facebook being like, good, I'm glad that guy's dead, F him. Hope he dies again in hell. Like, you know, would you would that affect the way you feel about her at all? Wow, that's that's a very, very, very specific scenario I mean, but, I mean, you fill in the blank with like i got you you know but yeah okay so uh, does it change the way that i look about at look at a person yeah it does it does because it, what it shows to me is i wouldn't say lack of maturity but it shows this like lack of like understanding about how like shit is really working out here yeah lack of awareness lack i don't of know wisdom like, I don't know. Like, does it really? Well, but, but, but here's, but here's. Why do you feel so strongly about it that you have to post well, it online? And it's just some random dude. Like, it's, like you if, don't like, even know him. Like, if someone killed your dad and then they died, and you were like, "I'm glad that motherfucker's dead." Yeah, like, I get the vengeance you seek in that. But you okay. don't know OJ. It's, you don't know his ex-wife. You don't know any of the stuff. It's just some random dude, and you're like, "I'm okay. glad he's dead." Okay, so does this same girlfriend go through every uh, felonious murder or assault charge <laughs> that happens in her vicinity? I'm not asking her to do across America because that's too much work for anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in her city, and does she say "F him"? I'm glad he died every time a a murderer has passed away. <laughs> Does or obviously make, a, the question a, is does it make a difference or a child essay or something like that because yeah, like, we got we got a group from together yeah because like look you can't just pick the the high profile celebrity quote unquote oh i'm glad this high profile celebrity is dead now no we gotta we gotta keep the same energy for everybody wouldn't that be even more weird if she did that for like she's just no she's just she's just searching the internet for dead murderers to like talk no. about how awesome it is they're dead on the internet no i respect that because you would she, date a girl who researched murder deaths i mean she's obviously autistic but <laughs> that does not mean i would not date Christ. her what <laughs> If she's that into like murderers yeah, dying, yeah, yeah, that's honestly scrubbing the record books. <laughs> honestly, it's kind of a turn on if she does that. I can fix her. I can fix her. <laughs> I oh can. my god! I can fix her. How many times have I said that? <laughs> I can fix her, Joe. So I can get her off of it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You can wean her off <laughs> of the murder <laughs> cataloging. So I don't know, man. I just thought, like, I mean. It's I don't know what he taste. did. Either way, he was he he died, and he was he was important to somebody, right? Like, uh -huh. so like I'm not gonna be like good. Like, there'd be very few people that I would be like good. I'm like I said, like if someone like assaulted my mother and then they died later, I'd be like, man, I'm kind of glad that guy's gone now. Like, mm -hmm. but just some dude who you don't know from anyone who you just thought he killed his wife and, and he was charged and not charged, he was innocent, found innocent. Like, and you're just gonna like plaster the internet about how you're happy he's dead That's, mm. celebrating other people's tragedies is a bad look it really is it really is i will i will say is that it has to it has a lot to do with the relationship with the uh with the internet and social media is that it used to be a place where you could keep collective thoughts that had relevance and were poignant and added to the conversation and now it's become more of just like 
a regurgitation of your frame of mind and your immediate thoughts. And not every time those immediate thoughts need to be shared with everybody. Because yes, when OJ died, did I cry? No. Did I say, glad he's dead? No. Did I say, I don't care? Yeah. If I wrote that on the internet, I would have been adding to the negative conversation. Right, right. Sometimes those thoughts need to just stay in your head and not everybody needs to know about them. I like that take. That's a good one to end it on. Tell us what you think about that. Facts. Dynamite say over here, like Confucius. <laughs> so, all right, that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.